Welcome back. Our month-long celebration of women continues tonight with a look at Jacqueline Cochran's contributions to aviation. She set numerous records and was the first woman to break the sound barrier in 1953. Steve Sumrall reintroduces us to a woman who's a rich part of our desert past. Now, if you are only familiar with the name Jacqueline Cochran because of this sign outside the airport, then there's something you should know. Her contributions to the field of aviation, as well as the American war effort, is the stuff of legends. And she is a proud part of our desert past. She was the first female to fly fast, faster than the speed of sound. Um, and again, she uh, flew probably 60 different types of aircraft during her career. On May 11th, 1906, Jacqueline Cochran was born in Pensacola, Florida, under the name Bessie Mae Pittman. She was the youngest of five children, and they were very poor, but as Jacqueline used to say, they didn't know it. At the age of eight, in her own words, she is described as being farmed out to family members and friends because her parents really didn't want her around. It was at this early age when she developed her work ethic. By the age of 11, she was working in a mill. At the age of 14, she began to work for a hairdresser. Around this time, she met and married Robert Cochran. And within a year, they had a young son. However, Robert Jr. did not live past three years. And after he died, their marriage did not survive. She started working in beauty parlors, sweeping the floor, being the shampoo girl. And it was at that time that she decided to change her first name to Jacqueline, Jackie Cochran. Jackie wouldn't be sweeping floors for long. As a newly trained beautician, she moved to New York City, where she began to pursue other interests. She became fully trained and was very, very interested in cosmetics. So she began to dabble in the development of her own cosmetic line. Before long, she was working in New York City at Saks Fifth Avenue. And that was when she met Floyd Odlum at the cosmetic counter. Floyd Odlum was a lawyer and American industrialist who, during this time, was one of the 10 wealthiest men in the United States. Floyd took an interest in Jacqueline and encouraged her to begin her own cosmetic line. It was Floyd Odlum who convinced Jackie that she should become a pilot. He convinced her that flying her cosmetics from town to town would be a brilliant marketing ploy. So, in the summer of 1932, Jackie Cochran began air training at Roosevelt Field in Long Island. Floyd believed this process would take six weeks. He was wrong. On a dare, she got her pilot's license in three weeks, and she went on to become, again, one of the most famous women aviators in the world. Her fame was well warranted. In 1937, she was the only woman to compete in the famed Bendex Air Race, and worked with her good friend Amelia Earhart to open the race to all women. A year later, she would win the Bendix and set a new transcontinental speed record. She was the first woman to fly a bomber across the Atlantic. Jackie Cochran was considered to be the best female pilot in the United States. She uh, raced in the Cleveland Air Races. She raced at Reno. Um, she was very, very successful. And again, she flew a number of experimental aircraft. Um, she would get in anything that had wings and an engine and try it out. Jackie Cochran married Floyd Odlum in 1936. Soon after, they experienced a flat tire while driving through the Coachella Valley and discovered the desert community of Indio. They fell so much in love with the land that they decided to stay and built a 732-acre ranch there. Many notables came to visit here. It just changed the whole image of Indio. You had John and David Rockefeller, Gloria Swanson, Walt Disney, Bob and Dolores Hope were very close friends. President Eisenhower visited her ranch many times during his presidency, and then afterwards, he spent time at the Cochrane Ranch here in Indio working on his memoirs. It is also worth noting that between 1941 to 1943, Jackie Cochran was the president of the 99s, which was the International Organization of Female Pilots, a group co-founded by her good friend, Amelia Earhart. Also during this period, the United States would enter World War II, 
and Jackie would be confronted with a new set of challenges, all of which we will explore tomorrow during the conclusion of this special two-part edition of Our Desert Past. With NBC Palm Springs, I'm Steve Sumrall. Again, part two of this amazing story is tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Stay with us. You're watching NBC Palm Springs, your home for our desert past.